Typhoon in for strength into the category 3 system this evening, just a few minutes ago actually. Uh, now at 23.8 degrees north and 126.6 degrees east, as it meters east of the Ryukyu Islands in the south. And the latest information coming in at 11 p.m. in Miyakojima and 10 p.m. in Taipei, we have winds of 115 miles per hour, a central pressure of 947 millibars. It is moving to the southwest at 7 miles per hour, and we have a ZDPS stage rating of 7 to this time. And breaking down the CDPS for Taketomi Island in the Okinawa Island chain, uh, we have wind speeds uh, at major, storm size is major to extreme at the extreme side, as it is super big, meandering uh, close to those islands. Rainfall potential is also extreme, as it could bring a lot of rain to China and Japan, and North Atlantic is combined major to extreme. Stage 7 means that catastrophic damage is possible to there at Friday evening. The wind fields extend 205 miles to the north, uh, northern quadrants as it is a very big storm, uh, 130 miles to the northeast, I mean southeast, and 135 miles to the southwest. Warnings and advisories are in effect. We have a blue typhoon warning for Fujian, a typhoon warning for Miyakajima, Yoigama, and except for Inoyogimi and Taiwan. A gale advisory for the Ryukyu Islands, Yanaguni, parts of Kokushima and Kumamoto, Miyazaki, Sago, and Nagasaki. Wind estimates are as follows, JMA is at 90 miles per hour in category 1, JCWC is at 110 miles per hour, which is also a category 2, uh, and 413 recently updated to a category 3 at 115 miles per hour, uh, and that is um, at their latest updates. And here's the cone of the JTWC, it's gonna stall eventually at the Ryukyu Islands and move onwards towards the northern part of China, one well, more the central part of China on the east coast. Uh, and probably stall there and cause a lot of rainfall as it progresses. Sea surface temperatures are rather warm there, it's definitely gonna get colder as it progresses into the East China Sea uh, and probably die out and weaken a lot. Each fourth model is predicting it to peak as it approaches the Ryukyu Islands and probably making landfall. This is actually kinda old because the, these images won't load. Rainfall also gonna reach its peak. Uh, according to each word models, right there uh, at the Ryukyu Islands, really showing those purple areas to the south. The models are looking at a pretty good increase in wind speeds over uh, the next two or three days, but it will also weaken significantly uh, the Jul at July 25th, uh, when it will probably make landfall into the cold area of the Yates China Sea. Shear remains low and will also remain low as it approaches the islands and will increase later on. And the mid-level relative humidity also remaining rather constant will also get a, a quick increase mm. as it also progresses to the islands. Finishing it off, there's the satellite imagery really uh, starting to form a proper eye wall, still, still lacking a little bit of convection to the southwest and north. Uh, other than that, the southern and eastern eye walls look pretty solid to this point.